Have you ever been building a structure powered by solar panels and thought to yourself, hey, I wonder what angle the solar panel needs to be to get the most sun? Well, this video is for you. So, what is the optimal angle? Well, the optimal angle depends on where you are on the Earth. Specifically, your latitude and what time of year it is. Example, the summer solstice. With that information, we can throw those numbers into a nice equation that has already been built out for us. But you need to know one more bit of information beforehand. The sun hits the Earth's surface at 90 degrees. Okay, good. Now we can throw these numbers into an equation. So, you get this equation and it's got those squiggly symbols in it. Those are the variables, the places where you put your numbers. This symbol represents your latitude. You could use an L, but we are going to use this one which is known as phi. The other symbol is delta and it represents the season. So let's say we want to find the ideal angle for Deep Cove in Vancouver, Canada. Deep Cove's latitude is 49.3335 and we want to know the angle for summer solstice. During the summer solstice, the angle of the sun is at positive 23.5 degrees and it's at the highest point in the sky. So now we have our equation. All you gotta do is punch it into the calculator and you get 64.166 degrees. But what does this mean? Well, that's where trigonometry comes into play. Imagine this is your structure and your solar panels are going to lay across the hypotenuse. This means you are trying to find angle theta to catch the most sun. We know the sun hits the surface at 90 degrees, so if we draw a line from point A through the triangle at 64.166 degrees, this angle will be at 90 degrees. Now, to find theta, we just add the two numbers together and subtract it from 180, and the angle you get is 25.834. So, that's your optimal angle. If angle theta was any bigger or smaller, the sun wouldn't hit the panel at 90 degrees. Same goes for a different season. If the sun is higher in the sky, it wouldn't hit 90. From there, you can move on to design a whole building powered by solar panels if you so desired. And that's exactly what we did. We had to design a building that used the optimal angle for our location, which is the same as used in the example, Deep Cove. We chose Deep Cove because it's our home. When designing our structure, we had a total creative freedom. So, incorporating the internet's obsession with the Illuminati, we built this Illuminati-inspired building completely powered by solar power. It's 50 feet tall and made out of stone to give it an ancient look. The front entrance is built out of a gold-colored metal, and it is built to represent the Eye of Providence. Thanks for watching.